a Call 7 investigation, triggering a lot of phone calls and emails from you telling us that ads from Mile High Insulation fooled you too. Well, tonight, Call 7 investigator Teresa Marchetta speaking to a new customer who says that company also overcharged her. Mile High Insulation hung these door hangers on my front door. These door hangers at the center of my Call 7 investigation exposing questionable advertising by Mile High Insulation. They are hitting our neighborhood hard. Pam Owensby got three solicitations over the last three months. What attracted you to this company in particular? Um, they were talking about um, having licensed contractors do the work. Not just any contractors, Excel contractors. These door hangers may look alike, but take a closer look. They do talk about Excel registered contract on there. That statement in and of itself is true. But it leads you to believe that they're on Excel's list. This one Owens be found on her door just last month, one full year after Excel sent Mile High Insulation a cease and desist order to stop using Excel's name and logo in their advertising. I was told by the sales rep that I would qualify for the rebate. She says he even offered to backdate a receipt to make sure she got credit in 2013. The bill was $2,301. And when the installer came out, she realized the price she was quoted per square foot was much higher than it should have been. They did not charge me based on my attic square footage. They charged you based on your total square footage? Total square footage of a two-story home. He never went in the attic spaces. He never measured. Remember David Jackson from our first story? Register. I went and actually measured out that it was about 1,100 square feet, and they were telling me the initial quote. I think they were saying it was 17 or 1,800 square feet. Right. Jackson so. says Mile High refused to adjust his price, spraying in extra insulation instead. I believe they overcharged me somewhere between 550 to 700 dollars. Owensby says a complaint to the BBB got her nowhere, so she's contesting a portion of Mile High's charges with her credit card company. I scanned this flyer in, and I was just like, you're doing misleading advertisement in my neighborhood. I expect them to be ethical. I expect them to be honest and to back what they say. Mile High has refused to do an interview with us, but finally sent a statement saying their ads don't mention Excel by name and that there are many rebates available that are constantly changing. We asked for a list of those. They never got back to us. You could find them on the BBB website under Mile High Metro Maintenance. Their A-plus rating, though, was removed late yesterday after we pressed the BBB for a response to the ads we found. We've also learned at least one couple was told they'd get a sizable refund after our story aired. I'm Call 7 Investigator Teresa Marchetta. If you have a story for the Call 7 Investigators or you see breaking news happening, tell us. It's simple, using your phone or tablet. Simply click on the Tell 7 News from the app menu.